Now you might be trying to figure out if you can hide applications on your Apple App Store. Now doing this is pretty basic, but it just depends on exactly what you mean by this. If you're trying to hide like certain applications like rated R apps or whatever like that, then you will have to make sure you have family sharing enabled and have parental controls enabled on your iPhone. So you can always do this by going into your iPhone settings and then enabling family sharing, which you can do so right up here. And then right up here, there's family sharing right here. So you can always just go through and just set this up if you need to, and you can go and kind of manage, you know, and set up parent control. And you can set up parental controls right here. So that is an option you have. But if you're talking about hiding your purchases, so you're hiding apps that you've already purchased on your app store, which you can always do here, is you can make your way over into your app store just like this. You can click on your profile icon that's in the top right corner right up there. And then you want to go and click on apps. So click on apps right there, then you'll get into your apps panel. And what you're going to want to do here is you want to go and find the application that you want to go ahead and hide. So let's say, you know, this message and chat export PDF thing. Let's say this particular, you know, particular app I want to hide from my, you know, purchase history or my download history. What I can do is I can swipe to the side like this and you'll see a little hide button right there. All I really have to do is go and tap on hide and that will go and hide that application from my purchase history. And I can do this with every single application. So same thing, let's say like with, you know, whatever app I have here, I can go and do it. Let's say Evernote, I don't want people to know that I downloaded it. I can swipe to the side, I can click on hide right there, and it will do the same exact thing. So I can just rinse and repeat this over and over and over again, and that's essentially all I really have to do there. So that's basically how it's done. It's a pretty basic process for the most part. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.